So I'm currently in Peru. As you can see the landscape behind me, it is just the most beautiful place ever. Filled with mountain ranges. These are the Andes or part of the Andes. They're the largest mountain range in the world or second largest mountain range in the world. Um, and they're really powerful to be around. We've been here for almost two weeks now. And yeah, very, very special place to be able to exist in life for a little while and especially a really special place to be able to practice yoga. So we're gonna get on our mats and I'll take you through a gentle, really juicy opening practice though. Um, yeah, so this is for all levels. Totally welcome to just jump in and jump out whenever it feels right for you. And one thing that I always like to say in my classes is that I'm not the teacher, I'm just there making suggestions and it's up to you to check in with your body and to figure out what's right for you. So we're at altitude here, by the way. If you notice that I get huffing and puffing really easily, that's why. <laughs> it's very different um, to breathe air at altitude, but it feels really good at the same time. So let's get onto our mats and we'll start there. We'll start with the breathing, with the breath, um, and just bringing conscious awareness to the patterns and the rhythms and the space between the inhales and the exhales. So let's go. So we'll start at the back edge of the mat. Knees spread as wide as the mat. Sitting down up to the heels, toes touching. You can have your hands and thighs, maybe face up to receive or face down and even giving yourself a little thigh massage. Starting at the knees, and walking all the way up into the hips. You can put as much pressure here as feels good. Closing down the eyes if you feel safe to do so. And just bringing your attention and your awareness into the present moment, onto your mat, into your practice. Maybe taking one hand on the heart space and one hand on the belly. Roll the shoulders up to the ears and then drop them down the spine, creating spaciousness between the tops of the shoulders and the bottoms of the ears. A slight tap of the tailbone, feel the spine lengthen and strengthen. Take a full breath in through the nose, feel the belly inflate. Feel the lungs and the ribcage expand. Then exhale, open mouth, let it go. Another full breath in through the nose. Over now, exhale. One more. Let it all out. Beautiful. We'll come into tabletop position to begin with. So shoulders are stacking above the wrists, hips above the knees. Fingers are spread nice and wide, and you're grounding down through the space between the index fingers and the thumbs. Before we move, I want you to invite cultivation to core, so a gentle lift of the belly towards the spine. Feel how the abs contract and tense. From here, inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, lift the chin. Exhale, curl around, cat cows. So this is our cat. Inhale, drop the belly and up. This is our cow. Exhale, curl around. You can invite any intuitive movements here that feel good. Maybe shift from side to side over the wrists, or creating figure eights or circles through the hips or the shoulders. Make sure that you're still using the breath. Inhale as you open. Exhale, curl around. Beautiful, one more. Exhale, curl. Hold on the exhale, hold on the curl. Push through the palms of the hands, push the floor away, and feel the expansion and the widening of the shoulder blades across the top of the back. You can drop the head down heavy. Maybe sway it side to side, opening up through the neck, and allowing yourself to come back to neutral. 
We'll extend the left leg back and the right hand forward. You have the option to lift the back toes up. Inhale. Exhale, right elbow to the left knee. Hug it in. Give the knee a little kiss. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl. Last one. Inhale, open, expand. Exhale, plant the right palm down. Tuck the right toes under and then extend the left toes to the side and three let it go. Exhale, to bend the knee, open up the hip. Allow the left heel to draw to the, to the glutes. Evenly square through the other arm and try to ground down through the right heel. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, step between the hands. Lower the back of the arm, untuck the back toes. Beautiful. Full breath in. Full breath out. Lizard twist is there. Allow the right palm to plant down. Heels drawing the left foot out, step left edge of the mat. And using the left hand to push the knee outwards as you make a twist and look over the back shoulder. Option to bind, reach the left hand back to the right foot. Inhale, draw the heel to the glute, say hello to your quad. Exhale, kick the heel away through the spaciousness, open up through the heart. Inhale, heel to glute. Exhale, kick it away. Release the back foot, plant both palms down on the center of the mat inside the left foot. Tuck the right toes under and straighten both legs into a pyramid variation. So rather than trying to square the hips here, I want you to just wiggle the hips side to side. Opening up in some new ways. Exploring what feels good in your body. Maybe even lifting up the front toes. Inhale. Come forward into a lunge. Exhale, step back down and face your dog. Body in your says. Inhale, lift up through the heels. Start to roll forward, hard plank, stacking the shoulders above the wrist, lowering the hips down and rounding through the other back. As you exhale, start to hover the knees two inches off the ground and then take the hips back towards the heels and straighten the legs. So we're moving into one fluid motion. Inhale, lift the heels, roll forward, stack the shoulders above the wrist. Exhale, bend the knees, hips to heels, straighten the legs. One more like that. Inhale. Exhale. Allow the knees to come down and take rest in child pose. Belly to the thighs, narrowing. Fingers can be at the top edge of the mat, or you can take them behind you, elbows bend and rest down onto the earth. And you can roll the forehead from side to side. Taking a little bit of a moment for introspection, for self-love, for gratitude. Thinking of a couple of things that you're really thankful for. And sending those things of people, gratitude and love. On the next inhale, we'll come back up to all fours and we'll take the opposite leg. The right leg extends behind you, the left fingertips reach forward. Option to lift the back leg up. Inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee, hug it in. Give this knee a little kiss. Inhale, extend. Exhale, hug it in. One more full round. Exhale, hug. Inhale, extend. Exhale, release the left palm down, tap the left toe down that. Inhale, three legs up, right leg rises. Option to bend the knee, open up the hip. The right knee moves towards the sky, the right heel towards the glutes. The left heel comes down to the mat, and then try to square the underarm towards the earth. Full breath in, straighten the right leg. Exhale, as you step between the hands, bring the back foot down, untuck the back toes. 
Inhale. Exhale. Heel toward the right foot out to the right edge of the mat. Allow the right hand to push the right knee outwards. Lizard lunge, maybe looking over the back shoulder, find a twist. Or option to bind, reaching the right hand back to the left foot. Inhale, blades of loop. Hello, quad. Woo! Exhale, kick it away. Inhale, heel to glute. Exhale, kick it away. One more full breath in. Exhale, release the back foot if you keep that option. Taking both hands inside the right foot. Tapping the left toes under that and straightening both legs into a pyramid variation. Same thing, wiggle the hips out. Maybe lifting the front toes, come up onto the heel. The same height of the hamstrings here to the hips and to the spine as well. Try not to round through the spine, but rather pull the heart go forward and feel that lengthening that space that you create by doing that. Inhale, lunge forward. Exhale, step back down with facing dog. We'll go for three more body vinyasas. Inhale, we lift the heels, roll forward, step the shoulders. Exhale, bend the knees, hips to heels, and then straighten the legs. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, push back. Last one. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, step, jump, float, fly, handstand, however you choose to get to the top edge of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through the spine, out through the crown of the head, these hips are on the earth or the shin. Lift up the kneecaps and feel the sit bones blossom open, pull the belly to the spine. Beautiful. Exhale, we fold, surrender. Another one, halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale, we bow. Inhale, we rise all the way to stand. Palms come to touch above the head. Press the palms firmly against one another. And then exhale, hands to heart. Press the thumbs into the sternum. Take a full inhale. Full exhale. Hmm, a moment of clarity, a full presence. On the next inhale, we'll find out the Katasana, but we'll find the Katasana, which is chair pose, by the way, with movement. So toes come together, heels slightly apart, and on the inhale, we're going to sink down deep into the heels, into the knees, and into the hips. So bending through the knees, the fingertips can scrape the mat if you want, but that's just the fancy way of doing it. And then you can choose your seat. So you can be in a bar stool, you can be in an actual chair, or you can be in a little splitting body. Wherever you are, opening up through the chest. Full breath in, full breath out. On the next inhale, straighten the legs. And exhale, squat down into your seat. And we're going to move the arms. On the inhale, lift your right knee up towards your chest. Almost as if the breath is moving the hands and the hands are pulling the feet or the legs up. Exhale, slowly sink back down. Left leg rises, inhale. Exhale. Using the breath, one more each side. Right knee moves. Exhale. Last one. Beautiful. One more on the right. Inhale. This time at the top, take your hands to your heart space and extend the right leg behind you. Worry three variations. Hands are at heart. Your leg is an extension of your torso and you're creating a T with your body. You have the option to find your customer aeroplane, 
take the hands behind you. Maybe interlace the hands behind the back. Bend through the left knee. And take the fist towards the left, the back heel. Lift up through the chest. Full breath in. Exhale, step the right back into the mat. Inhale, prepare for humble warrior. Drop the hands down, lift the chest up. And then exhale, humble. Folding forward. The left shoulder comes inside the left knee. Squaring the hips to the center of the mat. And allow the fist to move up and over. Shake the head yes. Shake the head no. On the next inhale, we're going to reverse the warrior half blind. So I like to keep my hands down and take my right hand to the inside of my left thigh as my left hand sweeps up and over behind me. Painting the sky. Exhale. Hands come down, frame the front foot. And we'll step back to down dog or vinyasa. Down dog first if you wish. Inhale, we'll roll forward. Step the shoulders above the wrist. High plank. Exhale, option to lower the knees if you wish. Elbows stay tap into the body. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Up dog, side of the knees lift. Exhale, down the facing dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Then the knees look forward, transition the top of the mat, how would you get there? Inhale, halfway lift. Lift up through the kneecaps and exhale, folding down, relax the head. Inhale, lift to rise, all the way to stand. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's go to the opposite leg. Inhale, the Uttasana. As you take the left knee up into the chest. Stop, pose. Exhale, we'll fly, hands to heart. Worry three variations. Lift up and open through the chest. Try to square the sit bones evenly towards the earth. Cool. Ooh, just keep that. Pointing or flexing the back toes. Maybe taking a hand behind you, creating that bind, bending your right knee, and lifting up through the chest and the back leg. Full breath in. Exhale, step back into the mat, lunge. Back heel turns flat. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, humble warrior. Right shoulder inside the right knee this time. The head hangs heavy towards the earth. Square the hips towards the center of the mat and the fist that you've created moves up and forwards. Full breath in. And out. On the next inhale, reverse the warrior. You have the option to keep the bind. Take the left hand to the inside of the right thigh. Sweep the right hand up and over. Look towards your back foot. Exhale, hands come down. Bring the front foot, step back down, we're facing up. Fall through Chaturanga. Inhale, we roll forward, high plank. Exhale, option to lower the knees. Keep the elbows tucked in. Inhale, up the little cobra. Exhale, down, we're facing up. Bring the knees down to the mat. Hips to the heels, lengthen through the spine. Close the eyes, a couple of breaths, one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. Fighting onto our sit bones, onto our backs. All the way down, we find a couple of gentle bridges opening up through the heart. So you take the soles of the feet down to the earth. It'll feel like your toes are in and your heels are slightly out, but I just want the blade edge of your feet to be parallel with the blade edge of the mat. 
You can reach down and tickle your heels to make sure that you're in proper alignment. And then plug down through the heels, pull the belly to the spine, and slowly start to articulate up through the glutes, the hips, the lower back, the mid back, all the way up onto the shoulders. Lift the hips high, pull the heels towards you, and energetically draw the knees forwards. Full breath in. Exhale, slowly roll back out one vertebrae at a time. One more like that. Inhale, slowly lifting up through the sit bones, the pelvis, the lower back, the middle back, all the way up. Exhale, lower back down. So you have the option to remain here. If you would prefer to, you can find another wheel or bridge, or you can take the feet out as wide as the mat, allow the knees to fall in on one another like a teepee, and then take one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. Enjoy wherever you are, whatever you choose to take. If you're coming up into a wheel or a bridge, don't think about that, just move. Know that in your practice. Trust that your body knows how to do it. Three full breaths. If you are in a wheel, focus on pushing through the heel to the thigh and opening up more through the chest. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. Exhale, chin to chest, bend to the elbows, head comes down, shoulders come down, rolling all the way down onto your back. Both knees hugging the chest will roll gently side to side, massaging on either side of the spine. Mm. Keep your right leg hugged in, extend your left leg long, and then inhale. Exhale, drape the right knee across to the left, cactus through the right arm, and look towards the right hand. If you want to intensify or deepen, you can maybe reach the right hand down to the left foot. Yeah, it's a weird one. And then take the knee as far over to the right edge as you can. Keep staying grounded through the right shoulder. Back to centre, both knees hug back into the chest, maybe a little rock and roll up and down on that this time. My hands come out, kind of feels nice. <laughs> and coming back down into that little hugging the knees into your, your chest position before extending the right leg out long. Full breath in. Exhale, swap your sides, left knee hugs across, drapes across to the right edge, and look towards your left hand this time. Choose to stay or you found the bind, reaching the left hand back to the right foot, and taking the right knee out to the left edge. Prioritizing grounding down through the left shoulder. back through center. Knees back into the chest, this time wrapping the arms around the shins, hugging the forehead up into the knees, squeezing every single part of your body, squeeze the toes, squeeze the face, squeeze your abs, squeeze your tongue, inhale, exhale, extend out into a big stretch like you're waking up in the morning. Mm. You have the option to stay or find the finish, to stay in and find a Shavasana or to find your way up into a seat. If you would like Shavasana, feel free to just pause the video and remain here for as long as feels really good for you. If you're coming up to a seat, taking a couple of moments to find stillness and any adjustments that are needed in the body.
and taking your hands together at prayer and taking the thumbs to the third eye with the chin with the heart to that beautiful grandfather sky. May your thoughts of wisdom and clarity, invention and intention. Take your thumbs to your lips. May you speak words of kindness and compassion. May you have the courage to speak up and to speak out for what is right, for what is just, for yourself and for others. And take your hands to your heart. Take a full breath in. Open mouth, sigh it out. Bow the head to the heart, the chin to the chest. May you feel and give the love that you are and that you truly do deserve. From my heart to yours, namaste. So that was a little short but sweet opening sort of a class. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you enjoyed the view. And I am off to breakfast.